Hello to all the readers out there! My name is Erin and welcome back to my YouTube channel, where today I have created a little booktube game and I plan to tag a bunch of people so they can play it with me. The game is called Get Out Now and the way the game is played includes you have two minutes to decide what books you want to take with you if you had to get out of your house immediately. Thus, the Get Out Now of the game Get Out Now. To start, you sit down with a timer, and then you run to your bookshelves and grab your first choice books one by one. Then you show them to the camera, read out the book titles, and explain why you're bringing these books with you. If the timer goes off, before you have a chance to show all the books, you'll still continue the game, but you've lost the game. It's a game I made up that will surely get your adrenaline going, especially when it comes to books. So if you understand the game, let's play! The game starts in T minus three, two, one. First book, Rocks Fall, Everyone Dies by Lindsay Rybar. It's my favorite cliffhanger ending novel, and it's a book that I didn't like at first, but I do love now, and it's totally underrated, so I highly recommend you read this book. Next book. I grabbed three. We have Craven Manor by Darcy Coates. This is the first Darcy Coates novel that I have read, and I would die if I didn't have it in my possession. Next, we have Hunted by Darcy Coates. This is a Darcy Coates novel that I haven't read yet, and I really want to, so I am not leaving my house without this book. The Voices in the Snow, which is another book by Darcy Coates. I got this book on Christmas in 2020, so it's a memorable Christmas present. Next book! We have An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I have loved Saba Tahir's books since they first took the shelves, and I refuse to leave my house without this book. If you love the series as much as I do, then you'll understand my logic here. Next book. Yes, I know I'm out of shape. Gone by Michael Grant. This book is so amazing. I have been obsessed with the series, and I do not plan on giving it up, ever. Next book. We have Crank by Ellen Hopkins. This is my favorite Ellen Hopkins book and it is my favorite poetry book. Plus, it's a book that I think everyone should read at least once in their lives. Whether or not you are a recovering addict, this book is worth the read. Okay. Next book. We have Quarantine by Lex Thomas. This is a book that keeps you on the edge of your seat with an adrenaline rush. It's high school, it's amplified in a unique sci-fi way with social cliques and high school drama and bullying, etc. This book is so good. And then, <sighs> I'm out of breath. Okay, final book. We have After the Game by Abby Glines. This is my first and favorite Abby Glines book. And I know I sound like a broken record here, but this is the first book that showed me I can read books about high school without ever having flashbacks. So thank you forever, Abby Glines. And then this book also has great writing style, interesting characters, a strong female lead, I can always appreciate that, and relatable and realistic events within this book. It's all around awesome. Did I win? I'll post the time. Here. In this bookish game, I am tagging Read with Jim. She is an open book, A Clockwork Reader, Peruse Project, Books and Lala, and Chandler Ainsley. However you pronounce her last name. My apologies. I tag the lot of you as well, my fellow booktubers, to try this game with me. If you do try this game, please tag me and let me know because I would love to have started a quirky booktube trend. Have a great day, and keep on reading, my fellow booktuber friends!